Let's take a look at an example problem involving the motion of, of two particles in rectilinear motion. So here's the problem. Uh, we've got a ball. It's thrown upward from the 12 meter level in an elevator shaft with an initial velocity of 18 meters per second. At the same time, the elevator passes the 5 meter level, moving upward with a constant velocity of 2 meters per second. So what do we have? We have a ball that's under going uniform acceleration, that's motion in a gravitational field. It starts going up from the 12 meter level at an initial velocity of 18 meters per second. And so we'll write an equation of motion for that ball. And at the same time, we've got another thing. We've got an elevator which uh, passes the 5 meter level, moving upward with a constant velocity of 2 meters per second. So we're going to have to write an equation of motion for the ball and an equation of motion for the elevator. What can we do with those equations of motion? Well, part A says determine when and where the ball will hit the elevator. So can we do that? Well, sure. We First we'll determine when. We're going to say that the ball and the elevator are at the same position. So we've got an equation of motion for the elevator. An equation of motion for the ball will set them equal and solve for the time. That'll tell us when the ball hits the elevator. Well, where is that? Well, then we'll take that time and plug it into either the first equation or the second because at that time they'll be the same and we'll get a a position and we'll know that that position is where the ball hits the elevator. Now part B is determine the relative velocity of the ball with respect to the elevator when they hit. So we can write an e equation for the relative velocity of the ball with respect to the elevator. Remember we we previously wrote that down. Um, We'll, and then we just need to plug in the time when the ball hits the elevator and we'll find the velocity of that ball with respect to the elevator. So let's first, let me sketch out some uh, the, the, the problem and we'll take a look at it. Okay, here is the, the elevator shaft. So I've got an elevator shaft. Uh, we have the elevator platform and here's the motion of the ball. So remember the, the ball was thrown upward from the 12 meter level. So here I've written this is the 12 meter level, so it has an initial velocity of 18 meters per second, and this is under the gravitational field. Uh, so we'll have to write that equation of motion for the ball. So that's uh, what I wrote here. First we'll write the equation of motion for the ball, then we'll write the equation of motion for the elevator. Um, and the elevator here, it starts off at the 5 meter at t equals 0, it's at 5 meters high, and it moves 2 meters per second up easy enough to write that equation of motion. So once we do that, we'll set the, uh, the equation of motion for the ball, and I've written that as y sub b is, is equal to the equation of motion of the elevator, y sub e. These are both of, uh, um, expressed as a function of time. We'll set them equal to one another and solve for the time. So here I've written the equation of motion for the ball. That equals its initial position plus its initial velocity times the time plus one half the acceleration t squared, the time squared. Uh, remember the acceleration, it's under gravitational acceleration. We know its initial velocity was 18 meters per second and its initial position was 12 meters high. Similarly, for the, we write the equation of motion for the elevator and here, here's that equation. Um, the, the coordinate position of the elevator, y sub e, is equal to its initial position which was 5 meters plus the velocity of the elevator it's a constant 2 meters per second times time so we're going to and we're going to set these two equal to one another again and then solve for the time okay and i've written these down now here's the equation of motion for the ball it's uh, 12 plus 18t minus 9.8 that's the acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared divided by 2 times the time squared um, the equation of motion for the elevator is 5 plus 2t. We'll set these equal to one another and solve. Uh, when we do so, we can solve for t first, and we get this, t equals 3.65 seconds. Now, once we have that 3.65 seconds, we, we plug that back into either equation, because remember, we're, we're talking about what's the, um, we want to know the position when the ball strikes the elevator, so that's when these two are equal, since these are equal at this time, we could plug it into either one. So we put t equals 3.65, we'll put it into this bottom one, um, and we get that the y is 12.3 meters. So the ball struck 
the elevator 3.65 seconds after the start and at that point the elevator was at 12.3 meters above the bottom of the elevator shaft. Now the next question, part B, was, the, was the, to determine the relative velocity of the ball with respect to the elevator when the elevator uh, hits the ball. So let's see, so we've got um, the velocity of the ball with respect to the elevator is equal to the velocity of the ball minus the velocity of the elevator and that's equal to 16 minus 9.8 t. Um, therefore the velocity of the ball is 18 minus 9.8 t and the velocity of the elevator is 2. Let's look at that again. The velocity of the ball with respect to the elevator is equal to the velocity of the ball minus the velocity of the elevator. The velocity of the ball, remember that had an initial velocity of 18 meters per second in the up direction, so the positive is the up direction, minus 9.8, that's the acceleration due to gravity times time. So it starts off with 18 meters per second and it undergoes this, the velocity undergoes this constant change due to gravity. Um, the velocity of the elevator was just a constant, 2 meters per second in the uh, up direction, so that's a positive. So we take this 18 minus 9.8 t, um, subtract 2, we get 16 minus 9.8 t, put in the time, which we got up here, 3.65 seconds, and we get this solution, that the, the velocity w of the ball when it hits the elevator is minus 19.8 meters per second. The minus sign indicates the ball is traveling in a downwards direction. So let's uh, uh, review this. So just as a brief overview, the, here is the problem. We've got the ball um, thrown up in the elevator shaft with the elevators moving up at a constant rate. The ball, of course, will rise some to some level. Um, because of the influence of gravity, it'll slow down, stop, and start coming down. At some point, it'll hit the elevator, which is going up. The question was to determine when and where those ball, that ball will hit, and then determine the relative velocity of the ball with respect to the elevator when they hit. And so the strategy here was to write the equation of motion for the ball, write the equation of motion for the elevator, set the two equal, and solve for the time. This is a, a quadratic equation has two roots. We took the positive root, so there's another, there's a negative root that is before t equals zero. That's irrelevant in this case. And so that at that time, t equals 3.65 seconds. We, we plugged that back in and found that the position was 12.3 meters. And then we went down and um, calculated the velocity of the ball relative to the elevator, plugged in the velocity of the ball here, um, subtracted the velocity of the elevator here, and got this minus 19.8 meters per second.